Hey guys, Eli here for Do It Again Games, coming to you with another video. Um, there's not really a good play or pass video. I can't really make one for the Division Heartland um, because they don't really have a good gameplay trailer. We're going to go through the trailer they have put out for the Heartland Division and why I'm actually really excited for this game. Um, this is I'm just going to go on a little rant here about... Uh, looter shooter slash extraction games i feel like looter shooter i feel like we should name them extraction games first of all because looter shooters are already taken by games like borderlands a looter shooter is a game where you go somewhere and you get loot but you don't tend to lose the loot and i feel like that's where an extraction game is kind of different in my opinion an extraction game all loot is basically there's usually just a few tiers of loot or a few tiers of attachments and then you really get um you can lose that stuff permanently and there's uh, and it creates a situation where there's a special thing you want to do or a boss you want to take on in the map and there's a serious chance of you or your team dying and losing it now my problem and why I'm so happy about Heartland is all these games are PV, was it PVE, PV, what PVE, PVP. I don't understand. I really do not understand why all these games feel necessary to have a PVP mode where you're just trying to do a mission or simply put, you're trying to play with your friends, your brother that doesn't have a lot of time to play your friends who aren't always that great at the game. And they insist on putting you in a map full of people. And then, in the case of Call of Duty particularly, have all the final tier missions be player hunt missions. And then also have those final missions be complicated if they're not player hunt missions. So you're trying to do a complicated mission. And, there, and then you have people trying to do missions in areas where there's a bunch of people which need literally hundreds of kills in that area trying to kill you on top of the AI, which seems to have incredible laser beaming skills. Now, I think there should be different missions for maybe different missions and different progressions for both people who um, want to do PVE versus PVE PVP. I would love different progressions for those two modes in extraction games where it's like if you want your your greater storage or your gr other gun slots or whatever to be different for the two modes, that's fine. I think some some cross progression would be really cool, but I think like maybe gun slots like guns, gun storage areas versus maybe item slots have two different progressions. Like in the example of Call of Duty, maybe keys are different. Keys and cards are different for the two things i also think there's no reason that pve doesn't have to be different like you want people you want to have for example in um i'm not that familiar with tarkov so i'm using call of duty dmz as my example where one juggernaut on the map makes sense if you have if you want to create spots for all the players to come together to but it doesn't make any sense if you have a team of eight and there's three juggernauts on the map and a final tier mission, for example, could be something like kill all three juggernauts in PVE mode where it's just like, okay, you guys got 20 minutes. You got to make it to all three juggernauts. You got to decide if you want to take, you know, and have it even have the mission scale by team size would be awesome. Or the AI's difficulty scale by team size. Then the size of your team should declare how many, um, how many level three like there's probably in all these games is kind of level one two three of the scale of difficulty of ai and i think it'd be really interesting to have that scale with the amount of players and then maybe you have to complete the first tier of missions on pve before you can even go to the pvp mode where it's the same missions but maybe the rewards are greater or the com i actually what i'd really like to see is have the the purple tier the high tier loot be really unlikely to find or semi unlikely to find in the pve mode but if you go to pvp you could kill a player and get high tier loot you the the loot boxes whatever your version of loot boxes or drops are are more common if you want to spend a lot more time in a safer environment 
trying to get the same loot. Have one progression and have loot be harder to find in the PvE mode because the chance of you getting out with it is higher because there's no players running around because you hate players. I know whether we're talking about Tarkov, Call of Duty, um, Marauders. Marauders is another one. I'd love to play Marauders. I'm not getting into another, like, I'm not getting my friends into another game where they're not going to have enough time to get really good. They don't have enough time to play as I do. And then they're going to get murdered. We're just going to lose because I can't do, yeah, I can kill two out of three because I'm a little bit better than, than maybe your average player a little bit better. But then you run into this problem where you, people just constantly get murked over and over again because they're just not above average and the people and the trying the missions I'm trying to do at least. And I could drop my friends and go get someone else, but I don't want to do that. So my point is, is I'm very excited for the Division Heartland because it's going to have a PvE mode. Now, people don't seem to understand. I have had this discussion with other people and they go, well, why don't you just play the regular Division 2? I have been. It's actually a lot of fun. You should check it out. Um, first of all, I prefer first person shooters, not third person shooters. I don't like the cover base thing. It's fun enough. I prefer first person. But then also the real issue is it can be it can be really it can be really hard to get people in the games these like especially games like this where it's a big time commitment it can be really hard to do but let's uh let's watch this division trailer now that i've rambled for several minutes about this and let's uh see what they have to say on this one of the reasons i'm talking about this now is the peggy rating for multiple countries came out um or the U.S. rating, I believe, came out like a week ago. So now that there's a bigger U.S. rating, we're going to see hopefully um, a release date. Maybe maybe we'll see it at E3 with a soon after, probably. But let's uh, let's check out this trailer. Hey everyone, we're so excited to show you Heartland, an all new standalone adventure in the Division universe. The teams poured their heart into this game, and we can't wait to share it with you. Welcome to Silver Creek. I'm Keith Evans, Creative Director in Heartland at Red Storm Entertainment. We've been involved here at Red Storm with The Division going back before the first game launched. Our partnership with Massive Entertainment made some games that we love. We're so excited to bring something new to fans of the franchise. Heartland's a free-to-play survival action shooter set in the Division universe that features streamlined survival gameplay and a beautiful new world to explore. You play as a Division agent, given the task of protecting Silver Creek, a small town in Middle America, from enemy factions okay. fans so, of the fans. I, I do think it's funny that he's like small town, and they show like a, where was it? They show, they show like the a, uh, new world a skyscraper in the you background. You play as a Division agent, given the Not task of protecting town. Silver Creek, a small town in Middle yeah, America, like a from enemy factions, there. <laughs> rogue agents, and a deadly contamination. This game ties directly into the timeline and introduces all new characters and storylines to the franchise. Heartland feels fresh and distinct while still feeling at home alongside yeah, look at that and map. distinct Hold on. while still feeling at home alongside the other amazing games in this universe. We can't wait to have you join us in Silver Creek. Oh, okay, so in this map you can kind of see what I'm talking like there's the extraction zones around the outside of the map. I'm kind of interested to see um uh, and one of the things I like is there's it shows the mission objective. I'm assuming this person has a, a mission selected. It says solo slash group mission, beacon found, blah, blah, blah. It actually tells you where to go so you don't have to... The, the, D, both DMZ and Tarkov, what, what's with requiring guides? Like, uh, I guess maybe there's people with unlimited time who are supposed to figure this stuff out by themselves. But it... uh. Yeah, it's interesting to me. The same thing, they have like little search radiuses on different areas to show how much people have looked around. And then there's mission objectives. But yeah, it's a... Uh... Land feels fresh and distinct while still feeling... Wait, was there a... Distinct while still all new characters and storylines to the franchise. Heartland feels fresh and distinct while still feeling at home alongside the other amazing games in this universe. Yeah, that's my main problem with Division is... Uh... I'm concerned about being at home because the lack of impact that game has with most guns, it feels like you're, you're, everything's kind of smushy. We can't wait to have you join us in Silver Creek. But yeah, there's a, 
is a closed beta, and we will get to see what Heartland holds. Hopefully, I did sign up for the closed beta. We'll see if I get in to give it a try, but let me know. Do uh, do extraction games need more PvE and less PvP? Do you and your friends just want to get in and, and play some games? I guess I'm, maybe I'm just a wimp and I get tired of uh, getting dead too much. But uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Please like and subscribe, and we will see you guys again next time. Bye.